Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing hail and hearty. I come to you with the report number 38. And before I start, I hope you've grabbed a coffee or maybe if you prefer a beer or a smoke or nothing at all, because this report is going to be interesting. Everybody in the financial markets are actually waiting for a dopamine hit. And what I mean by that is people are either waiting for a final capitulation a dump or wanting to get out of this bearish territory and maybe pump but we are in a no man's land as also seen by the fear and greed index in the crypto markets we are hovering somewhere low uh, which kind of makes it impossible so to speak to go up and also to fall down because we are already quite down i want to talk about the dollar index, which is the DXY, US dollar index, it's actually gone up. It's not happened in a very, very long time, many, many, almost a couple of decades. And you would see that we are quite overbought in the relative strength index. And it would be uh, quite likely that this comes down in the coming time or be choppy acting like this in the short to medium term. However, in all the other markets, uh, all the other forex currencies around the world, such as British pound and Euro, you would see that they have been suffering. And mind you guys, this has not happened in 37 freaking years. Yes, that's correct. 1985 is last time when it was performing this way. And having said that, the British pound is quite oversold at the moment and i would expect this to bounce back and while this happens probably 1.15 1.2 and while this happens people will take the opportunity as the british pound gets gains uh, momentum to convert that into a stronger currency such as the us dollar and mind you as this is happening while the british pound is falling the volumes of british pound to bitcoin has drastically increased in the uk Yes, you can read that. And this is what I see playing dollar also getting strengthening in the coming times as the Fed keeps increasing the interest rates in the coming days. Going forward, I want to discuss about the, the great detox that is happening. So markets are trying to move back to uh, the pre money printing era, the pre 2020. And that's the psychology of the markets that they want to go back to where they started, like a great reset in the short term. And yeah, that's what is happening in the markets. And uh, in terms of the crypto markets, I want to discuss basically two key points. One is the volatility of the markets in the last one decade has actually reduced. And this can be seen from the mere multiple. And after that, I want to show to our viewers that four indicators which say Bitcoin is dead. So let's move on to the mere multiple. multiple. Uh, this basically shows the 200 day moving average, the volatility of the 200 day DMA. And you would see that for the last 10 years, 12 years, this volatility has reduced. And when we reach a point of 1.0 in the mere multiple, that means Bitcoin is exactly at, at its 200 day moving average, which is the average of the last 200 days price. And right now you will see that these two lines match perfectly while there is an anomaly right now in this kind of zone in 2022, and that's not very normal. So I would expect it to bounce back to 1.0 in the, in the medium term in the coming months. Well, Having said that, we understand what this mere multiple is, hopefully. I want to go to the four indicators which show Bitcoin is dead. The very first in line is the hash ribbons that you see here, which basically shows the health of the miners. And right now you would see that whenever we are in this coming out of this red territory, the miners are back into the accumulation. That is, they are not selling the Bitcoins that they mined because they find the health of, of them. And this is probably the opportunity that they should do to accumulate Bitcoin is actually going up. This is the first indicator. And this is a very powerful indicator because back in time, whenever you see the miner's health gets choppy, 
and that happens into the bear market you would see here and they when they realize it's time to buy they buy and that's happened time and again this time should not be too different and coming to the second indicator this is as simple as this as it says the rsi the relative strength index the relative strength index in the bitcoin terms is is actually oversold as we see right now that means we well we can go much lower than this but i doubt whenever this has happened in the past you would see a pump has ensued whenever this has happened but we are actually quite oversold so this kind of is, is a buying opportunity in my opinion no financial advice and the third in line is the pi cycle indicator which basically marks the top and bottoms of a cycle and here you would see that there are multiple lines which might look confusing but if i were to zoom in you see this orange line which is the fast top moving average when this crosses above the slow top moving average which is the red line this marks the top of the cycle and you would see this happening time and again this is marking the top and this is automatically done by the algorithm which was found in trading view however on the on the other side the bottom of the cycle is marked by the slow bottom moving average crossing above the fast bottom moving average which is basically the blue line when that crosses above the green line it marks the bottom and you would again see that time and again happening in the past the blue line crossing above the green line over here so we have seen a bottom play out about june and july and that is what this indicator says it's been accurate in the past and i also expect this to be accurate now there can be a capitulation but we'll have to wait and watch but these indicators are data points and the final one this is a really interesting one which is the nbt which is the network value transaction so how this is approached is basically these lines are are drawn uh, these are um, the standard deviation bands which are how they are calculated is the network value which is in other words market value divided by the 90 day transaction volume and we get these graphs in simple words whenever we are in the green territory which is buy zone it's a buying the freaking dip and the red zone is a sell opportunity you would see this play time and again the 2018 bear end of the 2018 bear market and right now again we are in the green zone so this is like the four indicators i wanted to show to our viewers pretty interesting all of them marking that bitcoin is dead you can dip lower but there is no more dip to go to happen because this is we have reached the fundamental level and the only people that are left are the hodlers and just to close on on this the xmr uh, usdt chart the same cup and handle formation is in play uh, i'm waiting for the volumes right now uh, we are in the middle territory of the rsi so nothing much to say about this but uh, i think this is going to follow what bitcoin is following before it shoots off to the moon and whenever that happens well i hope you learned something from this report and i would hope to see you all in the next rise report until then have a good one.